Hi everyone, my name is Katerina Heya, and I'm a pastor and organizer with the Coalition to Dismantle the Doctrine of Discovery. I wanted to share this um, quick video update with you all a week after a really significant court hearing around indigenous religious freedoms and protections for a sacred site known as Oak Flat, or in the Apache language, Chichil Bildagotil. This is a sacred site in Arizona's Tonto National Forest, um, where Western Apache have worshipped, prayed, gathered for ceremony um, since time immemorial for thousands of years. This um, sacred land is at risk of being transferred to a multinational copper mining company, Resolution Copper, a subsidiary of Rio Tinto. You can look that up and look up their track record online uh, to learn more about some of their other um, harms against indigenous peoples and the earth um, with this particular mining company. It will completely destroy the sacred site if the land transfer goes through with a nearly two mile wide and a thousand foot deep pit crater um, created by the subsidence and the uh, the way that the mine will, will cause the land to collapse literally in on itself, um, completely harming a very fragile desert ecosystem as well as the ability of Apache peoples, Western Apache peoples and other indigenous groups to pray to worship, to conduct ceremony in, the, in this holy site, this place that though it doesn't have a, a church building on it, is very much um, a holy place, a center of, of prayer, of connection with creator, um, a place where um, ceremonies are done for indigenous young women and um, where, where others have gone and felt and experienced the, the real um, sacredness and holiness of this, of this land. Um, in Arizona. Because of the doctrine of discovery, it is not legally under the authority of Apache peoples. It legally belongs to the federal government um, who, who inherited the rights of discovery as the U.S. Um, inherited uh, rights to stolen land. Um, and and they have the, the right legally to transfer it to this uh, multinational copper mining company for extractive industries uh, for mining this copper, this third largest deposit of copper ore in the world, from what I've read. Um, and the people who are standing on the front lines to protect that are those who have a connection and um, who have stewarded this land for thousands of years. And so they presented their case last week on March 21st in the Pasadena Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. Um, over 200 people that I estimated gathered out in the rain to pray and to um, bear witness as uh, oral arguments were made about largely over what constitutes a substantial burden. Um, so an attorney for the uh, National Forest Service was arguing that the destruction of this sacred site doesn't really constitute much burden to Apache uh, religion. And on the other side, the Apache's lawyer was was saying, yes, the destruction of the center of their cosmology, origin story, their, their center of their religious practice is a substantial burden when that uh, when that place is destroyed. Um, the, the government attorney dismissed the, the treaties made with Apache peoples in the U.S. government in the 1850s as, you know, peace treaties that don't apply today. And it struck me that um, that the, the copper mining company is essentially getting free representation by the U.S. government um, in justifying their decisions to do whatever they want with this land without really consulting and listening to indigenous peoples. And indigenous peoples really don't have much say le in the legal system over this process uh, and are seeking to expose that in appealing um, their their court case, their religious freedom court case in front of this um, 11 judge panel uh, last week. And so afterwards, I heard Wensler Nosey Sr., the founder of the Apache Stronghold, say that, um, I quote, today we stood up in court for that right, the right to uh, connect with the creator, to worship, to gather in ceremony at Oak Flat, um, that we gathered in court for that right, determined to stop those who think that our place of worship can be treated differently simply because it lacks four walls and a steeple. 
We are hopeful that this time around the Ninth Circuit will save Oak Flat, end quote. And so we await the decision of the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, um, which may take months. And in the meantime, any day now, an environmental impact statement is due from the National Forest Service. And when that EIS report is dropped, there's only a 60-day period before the land transfer can happen. Um, so this is a really pivotal time for us as people of faith to seek repentance and repair of the doctrine of discovery by standing alongside indigenous peoples in prayer. First and foremost, they have invited us to unity. Um, as they say, one drum, one prayer, one circle in unity and prayer and in one spirit um, to, to see this as a spiritual battle for all of us, uh, for sacred land, um, for the defense of life and future generations' ability to live and breathe and drink clean water um, on, uh, on this planet and on lands that indigenous peoples are seeking to protect for the sake of all life. So pray. And then secondly, can you raise awareness, heighten public attention around this issue through writing letters to the editor or op-eds, um, educating your church communities, um, all your networks, bringing this up in conversation, writing about it, um, bringing press and media attention to it. And then finally, in the meantime, as we await, we can also call our representatives and ask them to co-sponsor the Save Oak Flat Act, which has been reintroduced in Congress in early March by Representative Grijalva. And we can thank them if they've already co-sponsored the Save Oak Flat Act, especially for those of you who live in Arizona or know people who live in Arizona, please call your representatives and ask them to co-sponsor that act. So we need all eyes on Oak Flat right now. Educate yourselves, learn, pray, and join us in action, in reparative action today. You can follow um, Apache Stronghold on social media at Save Oak Flat Arizona and um, check out their website, their social media pages to learn more. We want um, people to be following their leadership, learning from Apache peoples. You can also, if you want to join our movement where, where I and my colleagues are seeking to organize people of faith, especially Christian communities towards repair, um, reach out to us at dismanteldiscovery.org or follow us on social media at dismanteldiscovery and let's work together. Um, let's stand for the sake of all life and for a green energy transition that truly um, is green and doesn't create more sacrifice zones at the expense of indigenous communities. Thank you.